Why are you on my porch, Nutty dear? You guys are all naughty. Look, they're gonna go down the stairs. No wonder my stairs are so beat up. Hello, my friends, hello, and welcome once again to the Rustic Vaughn Lodge. So I'm just putting up a quick little update video today. Uh, I don't have time to do my Robert E. Howard video just because the power went out and all kinds of... My schedule was demolished. So my filming schedule was demolished this week. So, but I do have... To, I wanted to put something up uh, for Monday. So I'm putting up this little update video and a call for questions because I'm going to do a Q&A. I was going to do one when I reached five... Uh, 5,500 subscribers, but then I forgot and I, I went past 5,500 subscribers. And so right now I'm at 5,800 something. And so I thought, well, maybe I will do a Q&A for when I hit 6,000, but that could be like two months away. Who knows? My, my subscriber count goes up and down as far as people subscribe. Sometimes I get 100 subscribers a week and sometimes I don't get any. It's who knows? It's a mystery these numbers. So, I'm just going to do a Q&A maybe next week, no matter what the subscriber counts are. So, if you have any questions for me, I don't know why you would, but if you do have any questions for me, I'm pretty dull, but if you do, put them down uh down below. I'll probably have the Q&A up on Friday. So this will be good until, well, Thursday or Friday, whenever I film that video. Uh, at least until Thursday, this will be good. So, you know, if you have any questions, put them on down below. And if I don't get to them this Q&A, you know, I'll get to them in the next one if I ever have one. So that's the first thing. Questions. If you have questions, leave them down below. I would, I will answer them, possibly even honestly. You never know. It could happen. Anyway... So that's one thing. Also, uh, I wanted to mention that uh, in my last uh, recap, I mentioned some books I was going to read this month. My TBR was kind of demolished uh, because when I came up here, I remembered to bring this book, Cujo. This is the book I was reading. But I didn't bring the book I was going to read after this. I was going to read uh, The Two Towers after this. And I forgot to bring The Two Towers. Oops. So I finished Cujo. Boy, is this book depressing. This has a hardcore ending, man. This... Wow. I'm, I'm going to have an interesting review for this one up sometime soon. This was an interesting experience, this book. I had read it once before when I was maybe 18, 17 or 18 maybe. And I didn't like it. I thought there were too many digressions. I didn't think... There were a lot of reasons I didn't like this book. This time when I'm, I was reading it, I liked it. All those things that I didn't like before, I, I kind of liked this time. I, I, I got what this book was about this time. Um, so I liked it. So maybe, you know, who knows? Maybe I'm just getting old and losing it. But I did like this book a lot more this time. But so I didn't have The Two Towers, though, which would have been perfect because I wanted something lighter after reading this book because this book ends on a downer, man. It's a downer of an ending. Not a happy ending to this book. Spoiler alert. You guys probably all know that already. So I had to look around the, the lodge to see if there was anything worth reading. I was going to read this book, Cornell Woolrich's Phantom Lady. I brought this up a couple weeks, like the last time I came up here, uh, just as an emergency measure in case I, for, you know, in, in case of this situation when I forgot to bring the book I was going to read. But this looks like kind of a bummer too, even though this is an important book in the, you know, uh, the noir uh in the history of noir. This is kind of important. It's an important mystery suspense type novel. But it, it does look like kind of a bummer. And I needed something lighter after the misery that was Cujo's ending. So I am reading this. This is the good old stuff. Adventure SF in the Grand Tradition by Gardner DeZoyce. Edited by Gardner DeZoyce. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that name, as I mispronounce everything. But 
This looked like a fun book, and I've been wanting to read this for a long time, and it seems perfect, so I'm reading that today. And I'll probably read The Two Towers after that. So that's what's going on there in my reading. Isn't this exciting? It's a thrill a minute here. Um, and some other things that are com coming on are coming up in the channel. Uh, I've got um, Horror Mayhem next week. The, the book... Uh, the book event, the reading event, <laughs> created by uh, the Bookish Bryants. Uh, it's all horror, all all next month, horror mayhem. So I'm doing that reading event. And then I've got my own reading event that I created, uh, June on the Range, where we're all reading westerns in June. And uh, then July is pretty much spoken for, uh, for some books that I'm reading there. Uh, I'm reading a, a mammoth there. And then um, in August, there's another reading event. Uh, so three months worth of reading events. So in August, this one was created by Steve Donahue and Criminali. And this is going to be all about reading trash. Trashy books. It's called Garb August. I think it's called Garb August. That's a... You go away, naughty flies. Wildlife. Um... Yeah, so it's all about reading trash in August. I didn't expect to have all of these reading events uh, this year. I had planned to really concentrate on longer novels, on um, mammoths this year, but I'm reading a lot fewer the, of them than I thought because I have all these reading events that I've hopped on board with. And that's fine. That's fine with me. I will still get in some mammoths this year. So... Yeah, that's what's going on on the channel. And this coming week, I'm hoping, if everything goes well, uh, that tomorrow I should have um, my Hall of Adventure. You know, Halls of Adventure with Roger should be back on tomorrow. Wednesday, I have Epic Comic Book Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, I don't know what I'm doing. It's probably another fantastic episode of my 100 Favorite Books project. And on... Friday probably will be the Q&A. And on Saturday will probably be my uh, review of Cujo. So, you know, channel news. But that's all I have time for. Next week I should have the Robert E. Howard Show back up. Okay, guys, I will catch you next time.